again brightened the place up. The Reserve Bank has left official interest, official interest rates on hold at 2.5% for the 12th month in a row as Australia's biggest banks continue their fierce battle for mortgage customers. But even the big four are being pressured by the smaller lenders and the possibility of another RBA rate cut. Australia's big four banks want your business. Their actions signifies that they're... Um, actively competing for, um, for new customers. Five-year fixed rates are at record low levels. Package deals with Combank, NAB and Westpac are below 5%. They are big moves out of cycle. This is a hyper-competitive market. Smaller players are getting in on the action too. iMortgage offers the cheapest five-year fixed rate of the lenders' rate city ranks. But while they offer more attractive deals... The big four, often they've got an ATM on almost every street corner. That's very handy for people. They also have retail outlets, so you can actually go and speak to someone in person. No matter the lender, the number of borrowers opting for consistency on their repayments is expected to rise. The Bureau of Statistics says the proportion of fixed rate mortgages reached its peak at just over 25% during the global financial crisis. Their popularity plummeted after the RBA slashed official interest rates to prop up the economy, but they've been rising ever since, making for just under 15% of all mortgages in May. What we are expecting to see is a significant increase heading into the months of uh, October and September because what happens is when fixed rates are significantly cut, as they were a couple of weeks ago, there's a bit of a lag before we see inquiries pick up. Mortgage Choice is expecting nearly one third of all mortgages it writes will be fixed. And so you know that you're going to be paying the same amount each month. There are some drawbacks, like fees if you want to pay down a fixed loan faster by using a windfall or inheritance, for example, but... You don't have to be all or nothing. You, you, you can now today have your foot in both camps. You can have some of your loan 50% variable and some of your loan fixed as well. That's what Alex Cleal is considering as he upgrades to a larger apartment on Sydney's northern beaches. And then I can play with the two accounts and pay more into one and one in the other depending on what the interest rate does. Some expect official interest rates may still fall as inflation weakens. I think the chances are, are better than 50%. The current batch of low fixed rates are being funded by cheap money offshore. And foreign markets wouldn't be supplying that capital to the banks if they didn't think that interest rates were going to remain low here for a long period of time. For how long is anyone's guess. Ricardo Gonsalves, SBS World News. And for more on this story, just head to our website where Ricardo investigates the importance of comparison rates on loans. As international